So the Lake Superior National Estuarine Research Reserve, like all of the National Estuarine Research Reserves in the country, is a NOAA-led organization. That's the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. They lead a system of 28 reserves around the country, soon to be 20, 29. And the Lake Superior National Estuarine Research Reserve is the newest reserve in that system. Like all of our uh, sister reserves around the country, we uh, conduct research on the estuaries along Lake Superior's coast, and we do education and outreach based on that research, and that research, research helps inform stewardship in our region. Um, we're based here in Superior, Wisconsin, and we sit right on the edge of the St. Louis River estuary, the largest estuary in the Great Lakes. The summit is an information sharing event um, about work that's happening in the region in regards to cultural science, research, and education. So our audience um, is scientists in the Twin Ports region and actually in the Great Lakes region as well, um, including natural resource managers, elected and appointed officials, educators, community members that are interested in um, both the St. Louis River and Watershed. Our audience really focuses on scientists in the Twin Ports and Great Lakes region, but that also includes natural resources managers at the local, state, and federal levels. Um, it includes community members interested in the St. Louis River, industry, businesses, educators, um, elected and appointed local officials, as well as municipal water-related staff members. We do a lot of the sampling in the estuary of invertebrates, um, and we're, we do a lot of sampling for and people. Um, and we look at um, sampling vertebrate communities to try to see whether um, sites might be um, restored or degraded, or whether they can be listed. I'm here with the St. Louis River Alliance. I'm a project coordinator, and we are here today to talk about the different ways that sediment is impacting the St. Louis River estuary. We're also here to uh, encourage people to support our bonding proposal that's going through the Minnesota State Legislature this year. And that money, if it's secured, will also secure federal funds to help us clean up 10 contaminated sites in the estuary. I got you an Anganjana Tal with Ditchigad Dew and Manoman. We're doing, we're, I'm talking about uh, wild rice restoration down here in the estuary. This is actually on the ground, putting rice seed back into the places, doing vegetation manipulation. My research is about the impact of microplastic on the I think it's a really good uh, title for my uh, research because microplastic is becoming a huge problem. Really thinking about the goals of the summit for the future, we would really like to continue as a key information sharing platform for all stakeholders of the St. Louis River, the watershed and, and also the region. We want to make sure that we raise awareness, inspire action, and collaboration.